Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. So guys, this post here is just an update on what I have found, what I found out myself doing my own research. For those of you that follow me, you know the reason why I normally just keep myself informed with these issues is just because... When the time comes, I will hope to be able to advise Havila Gold you know, when she comes into office. That's why I keep abreast of some of these issues. So I gleaned some information, but I didn't get all the information that I wanted, obviously, because it may be that there's some people who didn't want me to get the whole information. When it comes to matters of politics... It's always murky. It's never black and white. Unfortunately, when it comes to these matters, it's never black and white. Why? Because there are other matters involved. So my understanding, I'm saying this in defense of the girl child or anybody out there, you know, who finds themselves in a situation where they didn't expect to. I feel that when the money is given to them, the person in charge of the disbursement of funds is obviously the Office of the Accountant General. So their office is in charge of disimbursing the funds to each ministry. The area that is a grey area to me is what happens afterwards. Do they go to each ministry and sit down with them and decide how they're going to allocate their funds to each department. This is where it becomes murky, where the information is not clear. Or do they just give them the responsibility of disimbursing their funds the way that they want to? That was the bit where I couldn't find the information that I wanted. In addition to that, anybody who follows governments and politics and this kind of things will know about Bullion Van. Before you start jumping up and down and saying Nigeria is so corrupt, every government, every government on the planet has a parastatal with government, with money that they set up for their special projects. Yes, it is true. The money is not always, it's not always about corruption, even though there are always elements who use that money for their own effect and their own means. Sometimes they set up this money for their special projects. That is projects, well, as the name says, is special projects. I don't have to go into all that. You guys have heard the term, you guys have heard the term bailout fund. Yeah? You've heard the term bailout fund. That is part of special projects. So every government has a parastatal that they set up with money for their special projects, yeah? Money that they would not want to be accounted for in the public domain. So guys, number three, this ministry, to the best of my understanding, is a partial bullion van. And it feels like they put somebody in front, somebody who they felt they would be able to manipulate. If you like, you can stand up for yourself or you can bring one of your friends onto television to speak your truth for you in a way that you feel will exonerate you rather than taking the fall for somebody else. So normally what they do is they can set somebody up and they can put somebody who they feel they will be able to manipulate. In other words, they put you in that position and they expect you to do whatever it is they ask you to do when the time is right. Mm? Even if you do what they want, they can decide that they want to remove you when the time comes, if they feel that you become a liability to them. So, guys, that is my understanding of the whole issue so far. If and when there is more information that I can get on this matter, I will release it to you. But this is my understanding of the issue so far. Each and every government department gets their allocation from the office of the accountant general that is what the constitution actually says that their office is the office that is in charge of the disbursement of government funds that is what i saw with my eyes so number four 
Normally, what we see in theory is not always what happens in practice as well. Yeah? If you're with me, you can put your hands up. We all know that what we see in theory, theoretically, what we see written down is not the way things work out in practice. So, even if that is what the law says they should do, we don't actually know whether this is what is happening or not. Why? Because, like I said, there's no transparency. There is no transparency. Number five, this is the last point I'm going to make on this video. I've heard so many times people saying, especially back home, where they say, let's bring in this new law. Let's bring in this new policy. Let's do this. Let's do that. The problem is not the law. The laws are already there. The policies are already there. The procedures are already there. The problem is the people who are supposed to implement them. If you have all the brilliant, beautiful laws and policies that God could ever give us, if people are not implementing the policy, what is the, what is the point in bringing in new ones? If the policy that you had in the past, you're not implementing them, to the full effect, the way that it's supposed to be implemented. What's the point in bringing in a new one? The problem that you have is your human capital, whether they are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing within the mandates of the laws that they already have. This is the problem that we're having. The problem is not the law. If the laws are already there and the policies are already there, if we don't implement them, what's the point in bringing in new ones we just bog ourselves down in administration and and paperwork so anyway that is what i had so far mm. me too i am on the job when it comes to research there's no problem i can always do the research i can always find the facts the problem that we have especially back home is that we have the policies, but we are not implementing them. Why are we not implementing them? Because of corruption, of course. We don't want to be transparent because when we're transparent, people when we're transparent, people find out what we're doing. This is the problem that we have. We all know it. There's no point in bringing in new laws or changing the laws when we're not implementing the ones that we already have. It is counterproductive. Anyway, that is what I had so far, so that this video is not too long. Because anytime the videos are too long, I seem to have a problem uploading them. Thank you very much.